Thank you very much. It is 9 11 a.m. and I'd like to call to order this regular meeting of the Board of Retirement of Thursday, August 12th. Uh, Bonnie, would you please uh, make your usual announcements and do the uh, roll call? Yes, um, thank you. This meeting is being held virtually, so I will go ahead and do a roll call of the trustees now. Mr. Pryor? I'm here. Mr. Knox? Good morning. Good morning, Ms. Gray? Good morning. Mr. Santos? Here. Mr. Oakham? Yes, good morning. Mr. Moore? Here. Mr. Kehoe? Good morning. Mr. Robbins? I'm present. Mr. Harris is not uh, joining us today. Ms. Abanta? Chair Bernstein? I am here. Staff participating in the meeting include the CEO, Santos Kreiman, <clears throat> Deputy CEO, Louis Lugo, AEO, JJ Popowich, Chief Counsel, Stephen Rice, Senior Staff Counsels, Frank Boyd and Johanna Fontenot, Lacero's Medical Advisor, Dr. Glenn Arisman, uh, Tamara Caldwell, Acting Division uh, Disability Retirement Manager. Disability Retirement Specialist Supervisors include Vicki Neely, Carrie Wilson, Ricardo Salinas, and Hernan Barrientos. The Disability Litigation Team participating include uh, Vincent Lim, Jason Waller, Allison Barrett, and Eugenia Durr. Trustees, please use the Zoom chat option to be placed in the queue. At this time, we ask all the meeting participants to mute their mics until you are ready to speak, and we may proceed with the agenda. Thank you very much. And uh, Dr. Erisman, welcome. Glad to have you with us. Uh, we are now on item two, <clears throat> approval of the minutes of the regular meeting of July 15th. So moved. Thank you. Second prior. Uh, was that uh, you, Mr. Robbins, you moved it? No, Oakham. Oakham, sorry about that. Um, so uh, moved by Oakham, seconded by Pryor. Bonnie, would you please take the roll call? Mr. Knox? Aye. Ms. Gray? Aye. Mr. Santos? Yes. Mr. Oakham? <clears throat> Aye. Mr. Moore? Aye. Mr. Kehoe? Aye. Mr. Robbins? Aye. Chair Bernstein? Aye. The motion passes unanimously. Thank you very much. We are on to public comment. Have we received any slips from the public, Bonnie? We have not. We are on to item four, our, our CEO update. Mr. Kryman, take it away. You're muted, sir. Sorry, can you hear me now? Okay, good morning, Chair Bernstein and uh, Board of uh, Retirement Trustees. I have two items that I would like to update you on this morning. Um, first, the election for the third member of the Board of Investments and the third member of the Board of Retirement kicked off on August 5th. Voting will be open to active members through the 31st of August. Uh, those, those active members with a valid email on file received online and telephone voting credentials via email on August 5th. Active members that do not have valid emails on file are receiving voting credentials and instructions via US mail. Uh, our members are able to vote either online or by telephone in the comfort of their own homes or at their place of work. We have had limited inquiries to the call center from our members about the elections thus far. We're hopeful that that will continue. Uh, second, due to the rapid spread of the Delta variant and ongoing changes to the COVID workplace protocols, we have reevaluated and reconfigured our return to work um, plans and are formally polling staff about their vaccination status. We have also moved our office reopening date from September 30th, 13th to October 1st uh, to provide additional time for us to prepare and implement mandatory vaccination plans with limited testing protocols for those staff members that provide medical or religious exemptions. We plan to meet and confer with our union partners to establish protocols for addressing non-compliance of the mandated vaccination policy. With that, I'm happy to stand for questions. Uh, I do not see anyone in the queue. Are there any questions for Mr. Kryman? Yes, Mr. Chair, if I may, quick question. Uh, Mr. Kryman, um, you know, the county's beginning the same process with regards to vaccinations. But one issue that has come up is the cause for, for those people that are not able to get vaccinated because of religious reasons, medical reasons, or because they don't want to get vaccinated. Uh, the issue that has come up with regards to getting tested is the cost associated to the agency for getting those tests. Uh, have you had any discussions about that with your team or thought about that? And uh, what is your position, if any, on that? 
Yes, we, we have we have thought about that. Um, we believe that Lacera should pay for the uh, the testing uh, to the extent that it's not available um, through um, through their own insurance or it's a it, it's it can't be um, uh, obtained for free. Um, and so we are looking at doing that. So there's possibility that we will be going to uh, back to the board for some additional funding uh, to the extent that we uh, we will need it. Um, that will we'll make that decision uh, in terms of funding, whether we can absorb the cost or uh, require additional funds, probably in uh, October, November. Thank you. Thank you. Do I have any other questions? Mr. Robbins, please. You're muted. Just on the whole subject of the tests, um... I think before we can approve any amount of money, any additional money in the budget to, to uh, offset the cost of the test, we're going to need to know how many Lacera employees are not vaccinated. Yeah. I want to know that number. So we obviously you cannot share names with us because of HIPAA, but I think we're going to have to know whether we're 20% you know, not vaccinated or 50% not vaccinated. Um, and I did send Mr. Kreiman last night an email asking about, should they test positive? Whose time are they burning? And I'm glad he said they're gonna burn their own time because this is a decision that they made. They can burn their sick leave if they test positive and they can't come to work. But I don't think it's Lissera's responsibility to reward people who don't want to get the vaccine. I understand that some people will not get it for medical reasons. Having said that, there are very few religious exemptions for not getting it. Even Jehovah's Witnesses believe in vaccines, if I have neighbors that are. But my, my patience is right about that thin right now with this whole COVID, the gift that keeps on giving thing, and we're all paying a hell of a price right now for anti-vaxxers and people who don't believe that masks work. I'm done. Yeah. Is there anyone else with questions or comments on the CEO's report? Seeing none, we'll move on. Thank you very much again for the report, Mr. Kreiman. We are now on to item five, disability retirement applications on consent calendar. Uh, we can go through this, I think, pretty quickly. Um, we'll start with uh, safety SCDs on consent. Uh, I, application numbers 507D through 526D. Move it. Second. Been moved and seconded. Bonnie, would you please take a roll call? Mr. Knox? Aye. Ms. Gray? Yes. Mr. Santos? Yes. Mr. Oakham? Aye. Mr. Moore? Aye. Mr. Kehoe? Aye. Mr. Robbins? Aye. Chair Bernstein? Aye. The motion passes unanimously. Thank you. We are now on to uh, safety SED consents for fire and lifeguards applications number 1377B through 1388B. I move. Second. Second. <laughs> it's been moved and seconded. Can we get a roll call? Mr. Knox? Aye. Ms. Gray? Yes. Mr. Pryor? Aye. Mr. Santos? Yes. Mr. Oakham? Aye. Mr. Moore? Aye. Mr. Robbins? Aye. Chair Bernstein? Aye. The motion passes unanimously. Thank you. We are now on to our general member SCD consent, uh, application numbers 2259C through 2264C. Move approval. Second. Moved by uh, Santa, seconded by Oakham. Bonnie, roll call, please. Mr. Knox? Aye. Ms. Gray? Yes. Mr. Santos? Yes. Mr. Oakham? Aye. Mr. Moore? Aye. Mr. Kehoe? Aye. Mr. Robbins? Aye. Chair Bernstein? Aye. The motion passes unanimously. Thank you. And our final consent item uh, for this is general members NSCD application numbers 4405 and 4406. Move approval. Knox, second. Okay. Moved by Santos, seconded by Knox. Bonnie, roll call, please. Mr. Knox? Aye. Ms. Gray? Yes. Mr. Santos? Yes. Mr. Oakham? Aye. Mr. Moore? Aye. 
Mr. Kehoe? Aye. Mr. Robbins? Aye. Chair Bernstein? Aye. The motion passes unanimously. Thank you. We will come back to our non-consent cases a little bit later in the agenda. We are on to item six, consent items uh, A through C. I've had no request to pull these items, so I'd be happy to entertain a motion to move them all. Move them. Second. Moved by Robin, seconded by Oakham. Bonnie, roll call, please. Mr. Knox? Aye. Ms. Gray? Yes. Mr. Santos? Yes. Mr. Oakham? Aye. Mr. Moore? Aye. Mr. Kehoe? Aye. Mr. Robbins? Aye. Chair Bernstein? Aye. The motion passes unanimously. Thank you very much. Uh, we are on item seven, excluded consent. There were no requests for exclusion from consent. We're on to item eight, reports. We have two uh, reports indicated FYI. I had no request to pull them, but are there any questions on the reports? If not, we are as always happy to accept them. Uh, thank you for providing the information. We are on to item nine, items for staff review. There are, there are no items, um, actually one item. Mr. Robbins requested that information regarding the percentages of Lacera staff who are vaccinated be provided at a future um, CEO report or meeting. Thank you very much. Uh, we are now on to good of the order. Uh, I, I know that we're going to shake it up a little bit uh, today. Bonnie, yes. could you uh, please cover that for us? Yes, we're going to start with uh, Steve Rice. Um, thank you, Chair Bernstein and, and trustees. Appreciate the opportunity to go first here today. Um, first and foremost, and most importantly, um, my thoughts are with you. Trustee Santos and your family uh, continues to be a very um, difficult and, um, and uh, troublesome time. Uh, I asked to speak today because there's a change in the uh, legal office staff that's occurring uh, soon, and I wanted to inform you about it. I would like to recognize senior staff counsel, Johanna Fontenot, who is retiring at the end of August after 30 years of service. 15 of those years were with Lacera and 15 years were with County Council. Johanna has made uh, significant contributions to Lacera and many of them were in areas within the authority of the Board of Retirement. Uh, and she's frequently appeared before this board on matters such as the administ administrative appeals procedure, the felony forfeiture, forfeiture procedure, the sexual harassment training policy and the returning retiree policy to mention only a few more recent examples. She handled many important court cases, including, for example, the Hipshire case that you all are familiar with involving the felony forfeiture uh, issue and, and PEPRA constitutionality. She managed the legal aspects of some uh, important tax qualification issues, very important to Lacera. She served as lead counsel for the Human Resources Division for many years, which again is a, a critical and busy uh, role in the organization. She handled many other types of matters across the Sarah's business, including investment and transactional issues from time uh, to time and uh, a lot of governance issues as well, in addition to her benefits work. She's known and respected at the county, at county council's office, in the broader legal community, and among other public pension systems, and her connections have often benefited Lacera. Another example of her work outside the organization, but beneficial to the organization, is her committee uh, leadership at Sackers. Johanna has been a trusted and positive leader among our team in the legal division and throughout La Serra. Uh, it's been a pleasure to work with her. We're, we're all going to miss her in, in legal and, and throughout the organization. She served as interim chief counsel uh, a few months ago for a couple of months while I was out. It's been a, a privilege and a pleasure to have had the opportunity to work with her and the legal division and I congratulate Johanna and wish her the very best in her retirement. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, and, Mr. Uh, Rice. Bonnie, if you would call now the rest of the good of the order, Bonnie, please. Yes, Mr. Pryor. Nothing, thank you. Ms. Gray. I will truly miss Johanna. Um, she has been an integral part, uh, chair of the bylaws committee for Sackers. Um, she has been a person that I can depend on for her opinions on certain things. Um, if I'm not clear on something, she's always there to explain it. I will truly miss her, but I am so happy for her to turn the page in a new chapter of her life. Um, 
you know, I hope that she took advantage of Lacera's uh, uh, preparation for retirement. Um, you know, it, it's it's going to be a great time for her. I'm happy for her. Uh, and as I said before, with respect to Mr. Santos, your family is in my prayers. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Green. Mr. Knox? Uh, good morning, everyone. I, I mentioned yesterday at BOI that uh, I certainly appreciated Joanna's assistance when uh, Mr. Rice was was on leave, and I know many of you go further back with uh, Joanna than I do, but uh, I found her to be tremendously helpful and, and very skilled at the types of things that uh, we needed. So appreciate that and uh, wish you all well. Thank you, Mr. Santos. Again, thank you very much for all the best wishes um, regarding my family. Um, with regards to Ms. Fontenot, um, and I'm going to miss you for congratulations on your retirement. And I just want to say that uh, for the time that I have seen you come before the board, uh, both boards actually now and for the past 17 years that you've been uh, with us, I found you to be an, an individual with high integrity. You're highly competent. I always enjoy hearing your uh, description of your recommendations or your, your legal recommendations. Um, your writing was very comprehensive and well written. You, from time to time, at least when I was a trainer in my office, you find some lawyers that they still use the legalese, and makes it difficult for a lot of our clients to understand. And even to the, the, the judges on the bench. Uh, so I really got to appreciate uh, reading uh, your recommendations. Um, found you to be very articulate. I saw you come in you know, numerous times uh, before the board and clearly articulated your recommendation, which was very instrumental in uh, my ability to make a decision with regards to the particular item that you were coming before us. Uh, you're the ultimate professional. Uh, that's one thing about you. You always acted with professionalism um, and serious in your work. And I really appreciated that. And I love the fact that you love the Broadway shows. I've seen you in years past, uh, when we were in New York, attending Broadway shows as well as in Pasadena. So we both share that uh, special bond with Broadway uh, plays. So uh, again, you you earned your retirement. Congratulations and best of luck. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Oakham. Well said, uh, Mr. Santos. Um, Joanna, I... Uh, you know, we haven't got to, to see a lot of you, obviously, lately, but certainly I enjoyed my inter, you know, interaction with you over the, uh, over the years, and I wish you well. Um, we will find out, you will find out after working for 30 years that this is a pretty good retirement, and uh, I think it's well deserved by our county employees, as particularly you, and uh, I wish you the best. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Okay, uh, Ms. Fontenot, uh, I'm always in, uh, enjoyed when I see someone reach that point in their career where they can actually retire and start doing all those things that they wanted to do and didn't have time to before. And I hope that you can bottle up all of your expertise and experience and make sure you pass it out to some of the young lawyers coming behind you because you've been an excellent role model for them. So enjoy yourself, um, live a full rest of your life. Thanks, bye now. Thank you, Mr. Kehoe. Nothing, thank you. Miss, uh, Mr. Uh, Santos Kremen. Yes, I, I just wanted to uh, wish uh, Johanna a, um, a long and restful retirement and um, Godspeed to you and um, in your next adventures. Thank you, Louis Lugo. 
Yes, again, although briefly, uh, although brief, I've worked with Adriana for about a month now, and I've seen um, all of the um, um, traits that uh, Steve Rice uh, articulated. So it's been a pleasure working with you and certainly wish you well in your retirement, Joanna. Thank you, JJ Popovich. Uh, thank you very much. So first of all, um, my best wishes and thoughts for uh, Mr. Santos's family. Uh, and um, I'm going to um, hope that everything works out well. Um, for Johanna, um, it has been a pleasure to work with you. Um, I have grown to appreciate you and respect you. Um, your counsel has been invaluable uh, and uh, your opinions uh, and thoughts and your ability to explain things uh, clearly and um, your willingness to always, you know, take into consideration uh, my opinions and, and, and help me uh, move along when we have to make uh, decisions has been just, a, just an invaluable uh, resource to have. And you've earned your retirement. Uh, so I hope that you enjoy it and know that we will be here for you if there's anything that you need. Uh, and I wish you and your husband and your family the best. So thank you very much for your service. Thank you. Uh, and Ms. Fontenot? Yes. Um, gosh, with all this kindness coming my way, I'm wondering why am I leaving, huh? <laughs> no. But thank you so much for the kind words. Um, it means so much. Um, I, I just wanted to say that uh, I've enjoyed these 15 years. It's gone. It's flown by. Um, I, I've had the opportunity to work with so many people uh, in so many different divisions, and it's just been a complete pleasure. Um, it's been easy to do because our mission is so important and uh, the people is what make it. And I first, first wanna say in the legal staff, um, I, I'm gonna miss your, your friendship, your conversations, and I, uh, I'm, I don't live very far away, so I, I hope it continues. And for, um, I wanna say also to Steve, um, I've had a, a lot of great bosses, but I have to say that you are the utmost when it comes to your integrity, your intelligence, and, and your energy. <laughs> I can't keep up with you, <laughs> but, but it's been a fantastic ride. Um, and I, um, I hope you know that I've always tried to, to, to all the staff, you know, to, to be fair, to listen, to be present. And um, I, I do hope to continue being active. Um, I play a lot of, uh, in the senior games, the national senior games for people over 50. And I've got my teammates that are retired and waiting for me to join them. So I plan on doing that, but I also plan on, like Wayne said, being very active in the community. So um, I, I do plan on doing it as a volunteer. So no worry about you know me coming back and violating any rules with the 120 days or anything like that. But um, please know that I, I've loved the time and I appreciate each one of you. And thank you so much for those kind words. Thank you, Ms. Fontenot. Um, Chair Bernstein. Uh, so two things. One, uh, before I, I say my farewells to Ms. Fontenot, I just wanted to mention yesterday at the BOI, uh, we approved an item on consent to reclassify a non-investment position. And as the new committee explores what the appropriate authorities are of the Board of Retirement, I, I would just encourage you all to look at that. It, it was a non-controversial item, but I really have to wonder why our Board of Investments is involved in approving reclassifications of non-investment job descriptions. So I would just encourage that committee to look at that and, and see if they agree with my sense and if the law supports that. Uh, as far as Ms. Fontenot, I, I got excited for a moment when it sounded like you were reconsidering your decision, <laughs> but, but you seem committed to your departure. And uh, I, I, I want to thank you for all your work. I, I want to acknowledge that sending you off uh, in a virtual pile of rectangles feels a little insufficient for all the years that you've been with us. I'm sorry we can't do a little bit more in, in person to, to celebrate you and send you off, but I want to join all of my colleagues and all of your colleagues in acknowledging your many years of contribution and, and just wish you all the best as you go forward on to exciting new adventures. So thank you. Thank you. That concludes Good of the Order. Yes. So we are now going to go into closed session. So uh, if staff could take care of that, we will start to hear non-consent cases. Thank you.